Andreas Georgia here for MMA Bus at the Ronin Wayans, big Ronin show this Sunday night at the O2 Indigo. And I'm joined now by the man behind Ronin, Jeremy Bailey, absolute legend. It's, it's a real honor to have you right here. Thanks for having me, Andreas. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? Because we just had the weigh-in set up, uh, doing a few interviews right now with some stacked guys on a, a very stacked card. New Ronin rule set in place as well, the elbows as well. How does it feel to finally have the show put together? If, if I'm honest, the way that I'm feeling, I can sum it up real easy. I'm feeling sweaty and hot. Yeah, I can, I can concur that as well. <laughs> Price of paper looking good. Um, to be honest with you, the way that it's all come together, I'm, I'm really, I'm really stoked with it. Um, it seems to be generating a lot of interest. There's a lot of heat out there on, on the internet about it, people talking about it on forums. Yes. Not just the new Ronin rule set, but just the fact that we're here. We, we, for me, it's been a steady progression from small inter club shows at the gym, and we've grown and obviously we're working our way up. And I think that's the most amazing thing because you guys did start really small and look where we're now. We're at the, the O2 Arena, the O2 Indigo. Yeah. It, it does show what persistence and perseverance can really create. Yeah, you know, there's the old adage, uh, better never stops. <laughs> yeah, you know, hard work pays off. But, you know, I'm, I'm driven for this, as, as most people know, I set this, this up um, to do something for my daughter, so she's got that. So that's my driving force. Don't get me wrong, listen, I'm a fight fanatic. I love fights, I love to watch it. I appreciate all of the, uh, the, the skill set that goes into the MMA. And I thought MMA would question myself, but for me, my passion is stand up, and that's where it will always be. And I love that. Everybody loves to watch a fight. When you pay your money, you come and you want to watch. You want to watch a fight, man. And that's what I'm trying to give you, man. Yeah. No, definitely, I can agree you are doing that. I mean, we're having a bit of a resurgence here in this country of Muay Thai and kickboxing rules fights. Uh, the, you know, the promotions, the cards, the events seem to be coming out of nowhere, really. We've got plenty of real top caliber level promotions. How do you feel Ronin can kind of fare with the big boys? Um, if I'm honest, Ronin is the big boy. Yeah, you know that. So stay in your lane. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, listen, now there are a couple of real big shows out there, but they are, let's be honest, predominantly Thai boxing promotions. Um, in as much as UK-wise, strictly sort of K1 rules. Yeah, I think we're we're we are premier. I don't mean that in a cocky way. But if you look at the fights that we're putting on, you know, Ben Vickers, Lyndon Knowles, you know, Charlie Peters, just to name but a few. These guys, they are at the pinnacle of their career. Yeah. And guys, and they are. They are the guys, uh, and a lot of them cross over to Thai boxing yeah. as well. So what I've tried to do is bridge that gap between the MMA guys, the K1 guys, and the Thai boxing guys, yeah. because the kickboxers won't fight the Thai boxers. I'm, I'm a kickboxer yeah. because we get clinched and we get knee the granny out of and they elbow our face yeah. and, and so what we've done now we've taken up the clinch so we still throw the elbows everybody loves an elbow if you're not being caught in the clinch you don't mind if you're not throwing the yeah. elbows because at least you think you can see them yeah. so we bridge that gap and uh, <coughs> sorry and the MMA guys also will fight that we fight the elbows anyway no, so what we've got now is the best of the kickboxers, the best of the tie boxers, and the best of the MMA guys. And now we're going to come here and get you guys. Yeah. I know it's uh, not always good to look forward, I know we've still got a show on Sunday. But what is the plan for the rest of the year? Because I bet you've got some big stuff in the pipeline. Um, I have got something very, very, very big in the pipeline. I, I hate to do this to people, I can't tell you now. But I really can't tell you now because if I'm honest, I've got a meeting on Tuesday and that's where I confirm it. With regards to the running promotion, I can tell you what's happening up until Christmas. Um, we are in talks around the principal one in September, as in to step in and help someone else out in a, in a venue. Okay. But we're definitely, we've got one on for the end of November as well. Um, you know, I, I just, this is what I want to do full time. Yeah, I want to do this full time and I'm going to do this full time. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, I hate it. I love the hype. I love the fact that I'm going to do a show and the, the first part of the build up and um, matching and doing that. But then, if I'm honest, it, Especially with us, there appears to be a downturn in the economy at the moment. Let's not get it twisted, there is. Um, but I'm really grateful for the support that obviously everyone's been giving us. And you know, you guys you pay your hard earned money to come support the guys that are fighting and, uh, and the promotions that we're trying to put on for. So thank you for that. But there are big things coming from Ronin. Um, I'm not going for that big one or, or massive thing, it's a slow burn up, it's a steady build. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are as well. Jeremy, really appreciate your time. And Sunday, Ronin, let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, thank you very much. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Roberto as well and yourself, obviously, for making this possible. Thanks very much, guys.